welcomed Premier League Fulham to Hartstown Park for their latest pre-season friendly. And the Blues were up against it in the early moments as Jay Williams pinched the ball before finding the feet of former gate player Marshall Godo, who saw his early effort deflected over the bar. The Premier League side took the lead on seven minutes after a more good play from Jay Williams in the Fulham midfield. Releasing Marshall Godo, who simply rolled the ball to Matt Dibley Dias, who rolled the ball past Ben Bridal Card to give the visitors a 1 0 lead. Fulham keeper Michael Allen was first called into action on 20 minutes as a Fulham headed clearance looked to be heading goalwards until the goalkeeper tipped it over the bar away for a Margate corner. Just a minute later though and Fulham had doubled their lead as Luciano Dorita Henry saw his curling effort deflect off a Margate defender past the outstretched hand of Ben Bridal Card to make it 2-0 to the Cottagers. Andy Drury's side were almost gifted an immediate response as four minutes after the second goal Harvey Orazio's wild back pass to Michael Allen in the Fulham goal Almost caught his keeper out. Unfortunately for Margate, he's going away for a corner to the Blues. Margate reduced the arrears right on the stroke of half time as a beautiful free kick from the left hand side. Found Kieran McCann waiting on the goal line to tap home for his first Margate goal make it 2-1 on the evening. McCann showing the perfect predator instinct to reduce the scoreline and give Margate hope going into the second half. Margate started the second half in the ascendancy as Adi Inca Coles ball out wide looked to cause Fulham some problems. Margate cutting in from the right hand side Unfortunately, the effort being deflected into the keeper's arms. Despite their positive start to the second half, Margate were almost caught out on the hour mark as a quick Fulham breakaway eventually saw the ball roll to Oli Sanderson, whose low cross went unchallenged, eventually rolling into the arms of Ben Bridal Card. Manager Andy Drury introduced skipper Ben Greenhall on the hour mark and he was straight into the action as he collected his own recycled corner before firing a fierce cross-come shot across the Fulham box which evaded everyone as the scores remained 2-1 to the away side. Margaret were picking up the pace and on 64 minutes had a glorious opportunity to level the score lines as a fantastic ball from the right hand side found the head of Emmanuel Olivesimo who saw his head up rising over the bar. With 20 minutes remaining of the game, Fulham looked to put the game out of sight as the ball eventually found its way to Oli McFarlane who saw his snapshot narrowly go wide of Ben Bridal Card post. With 15 minutes remaining on the clock, Margate set out for an equalising goal. James Bessie Saldana going on a mazy run and forcing a gate corner. Which eventually when swung in was headed against the bar by trialist number two as Margate continued to pile on the pressure. Fulham responded with a chance of their own as they quickly broke away again with eight minutes remaining. The ball eventually finding its way to Alfie McNally at the far post, although some late ditch defending from Margate kept the scores at 2-1. The partnership of Harvey Smith and Ben Greenhall looks to be an exciting one this season for Margate. And they linked up down the left-hand side with Smith releasing Greenhall only for his low cross to be well parried by the Fulham keeper. Any hopes of a Margate leveller were put to bed though in the 89th minute as a ball down the right hand side found its way to Ollie McFarlane who thumped the ball past Ben Bridal Card 
to make it 3-1 to the visitors. That was to be the last action of the evening as Fulham secured a 3-1 win in what was a fantastic evening for Margate as a club and for Andy Drury's side who continued to prepare for the 2022-23 league season.